Hey guys, welcome back to The Daily Brigandi. Today I have a really awesome Lou Gehrig signed photograph. Now if you collect vintage baseball autographs, you know Lou Gehrig is a very rare, tough autograph um, on anything. So even an album page, uh, anything cut out of a sheet of paper, even that's expensive. So here we have an 8x10 photo, which is considered a premium item. And what's really special about this is that it's actually unpersonalized, which is pretty rare because Gehrig was known to generally personalize all his autographs. Um, and even add uh, interesting notes. So if you want to take a closer look here at the autograph, he signed it right here, um, you know, on his, right below his chest there. And uh, it's a really nice autograph. Um, Garrig was known to have light pen pressure, um, just in general, but that, here we have a great example. He signed on a great part of the photo. So you have really nice contrast here. Um, and another thing I want to talk about this photo, in particular this area, is that we can, we, well, first of all, it's an original photo. It's a PSA Type 1 photo. So it's from the period, 1930s. But how do we know, like, what era it's from? And uh, one giveaway right away is that on his uh, chest, he should have, if it was from 1936 and after, he should have an insignia of the interlocking NY there. So it's not there, so we know that it was pre-1936. So early 30s to mid 30s, um, that was Gehrig's height. He was a triple crown winner. He had, uh, I think he averaged 150 RBIs a season um, in the first part of the 1930s there. So this is from his uh, height um, of his playing days, which is just critical. Whenever you're collecting autographs, that's always best to, if you can get an autograph uh, from a player during his playing days. Now, most um, Gehrig autographs obviously are from his playing days. Gehrig tragically uh, passed in 1941 of ALS, and he played up until uh, 1939. So all, all of his autographs, for the most part, are going to be from his playing days. But this is from the height. Again, it's a Type 1 photo, which adds to it. It's unpersonalized, which adds even more to it. Um, and obviously, Lou Gehrig photos are extremely rare, especially in nice large format like this. Uh, you, again, you usually just get small cut autographs, album pages. Even those are considered rare and expensive and valuable. Um, so when you have it on a photo like this, it's a real premium special piece. Something we're really glad and happy to have in our collection here. And um, if you have any question, uh, questions about Lou Gehrig autographs, uh, please comment below, shoot me an email. Um, we love, this is what we love. This is what we specialize in. So thanks for watching The Daily Brigandi. We'll see you tomorrow.